Hi everyone, this is Paul Ames, the dream career creator from Sky's the Limit Career Counseling. Uh, you're watching the Online Prosperity Show with Prosper. I'm, I'm so excited about this interview where I get to share some of the top advice on how to really find a fulfilling career that lights you up inside and something you're gonna be passionate about. It's such an amazing interview with Prosper, so be sure to check us out. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today we've got the dream career creator himself, Paul. How are you going, my man? <laughs> I'm great, Prosper. Thank you so much for having me on. It's an absolute honor to uh, speak to you and share my uh, knowledge with your audience. Understandable. Well, obviously today you are so going to unpack what it is that you do because when I caught you, you were helping professionals to actually uncover their desired career path and to live a life that they actually deserve. Now tell us a little bit about what it is that you do as a business and how it all started, Paul. Yeah, sure. So I'll go back to the start. So it basically started from, you know, when a young age, um, my parents had a bit of an old school mentality where, you know, all they, in their mind, all you did was work. It didn't matter what job you did, but just earn money. Doesn't matter. That was the biggest thing to them. Career satisfaction and fulfillment was never important. So growing up, I kind of had that mentality. I had that hard work ethic. But, um, you know, when I went into high school, I started to realize I didn't have any career direction. I had no guidance, no help from any teachers or my family. So I kind of got these feelings, negative emotions and negative feelings of depression. And, you know, I just wagged school heaps. I didn't feel any need in going to school. Um, and as a result, job hopped all the way through my 20s until I hit 30. And then it's like a switch flicked in my head when I hit 30. Something just changed. And I went, I need to sort my life out. I need to figure out what I want to do. And my biggest pain point was obviously all the negative emotions that I felt with my lack of career direction. So I met, randomly saw an ad for a diploma of counseling and embraced that. I went, you know, it's so far from all the different jobs I've done. Like I've been a tire fitter in the mines underground. I've been a baker. Uh, yeah, so many different jobs. It's, it's crazy. And uh, yeah, it did, did this diploma, aced it, found it naturally, uh, found it, found it really natural to build rapport with people and speak to people. And everyone said that I, you know, did really well in my assessments. And yeah, I've noticed I help people from a young age as well. A lot of my friends with their problems. So yeah, I majored in career counseling and yeah, vowed to start my business when I finished and haven't looked back since. Understandable. Thank you so much for that. Obviously, this whole lack of career direction is a big epidemic. Do you know what I mean? It's just like not Definitely. knowing how to run your finances, not knowing the nutrition to actually live because we spend a lot of time in our work. How is that really affecting people sure. at, a, at, a, at a core level if you don't have adequate career direction? I think it affects you massively. Like you said, I mean, 80% of our lives is spent at work. It's probably the thing we do more than anything in this world, apart from maybe sleeping might be next. Or, But, um, you know, our career is such an important thing. And without fulfillment or satisfaction in our career, you're going to be miserable. And you've only got this one life. You just want an opportunity to do what you want in your life. So why not live it to the fullest and actually do something that you enjoy and that's something that lights you up inside. So it's something that I'm so passionate about because... You know, I hate seeing people waste their life or, you know, not living up to their full potential. It's something that really drives me to help people and, you know, achieve that life that they desire. Understandable. There's a lot of limiting beliefs that will entail somebody to stop going for what it is that, um, you know, they, they, they like. How do you then work with people to unpack that so that they can know what they don't know? Yeah, definitely. So the first section is always uh, the first area I work with people is on their mindset because without a lot of people are lacking in uh, confidence. They've got huge amounts of self doubt and don't believe they can overcome or achieve certain things in their life. So I found that by focusing on that, like I'll give you a bit of a uh, case study. You know, my very first client I worked with in my business, I was pretty nervous. You know, I'm based over here in Perth and my first client was a Skype call via uh, from Melbourne. And it was a lady who'd done amazing things in her career. She'd had really high corporate roles, like done incredible things, like been an international stockbroker. And for some reason, because she hadn't uh, been in the, she'd been out of the workforce for a little while, she had so much self-doubt and limiting beliefs and these automatic thoughts were popping up in her head that she couldn't achieve these things that she'd previously done. And it took me reflecting on what she'd done and focusing on her biggest strengths and attributes to helping her realize that she is capable of the, uh, doing this stuff and she has done this stuff in the past. So 
you know, I found that mindset's like the number one thing I work with people just to, you know, eliminate some of that self-doubt and actually get them to reflect on times where they have achieved these amazing things in their life. Understandable. Oh, well, you, congratulations on, you know, that success story with that lady, especially coming in from Melbourne. Um, I thought Melbourne was the most livable city and people knew what they did have, but <laughs> all right. So <laughs> in the whole process of you working with people, especially with that um, lady, you work within four main areas of behavioral pattern, pattern changes and, you know, patterns that people yep. are already working with, especially what they already believe in. Um, especially their self-doubt and their confidence, what they understand about themselves at the moment and how they uncover whatever confusion or clarity they might lack or have and the action that you take them through. Can you just walk us through your four-step uh, sort of process that um, you, know, you, you, you help people with that? Yeah, definitely. So um, it, it basically, I'll, I'll run you through basically how I start to finish with my clients. So first of all, I, I work out usually only, can, I can do it in two sessions usually, or sometimes more depending on how, many, how much self-doubt or how many uh, you know, negative emotions or feelings they're having surrounding that or negative thought patterns. But from the majority of people, I can overcome a lot of this and get them a clear direction in two sessions. So usually what I do is I start off focusing on what um, some of the previous things that they've done, where they're currently at, what's really impacting their life currently at the moment, or what's setting that biggest mental roadblock in their life at the moment. And then I'll work through as to, you know, I'll give you an example from uh, one of my clients didn't actually really need to change careers. She ended up being miserable in her job because of her boss. And it ended up just needing a sidestep in the organization to get out of the direct path of working with that boss to achieve fulfillment in her career. But with most people, it's, you know, when people come to that pain point, that ultimate pain point where they're completely miserable in their career, it usually comes down to starting off by working through what are their biggest core natural, uh, their core values. So for example, you know, finding out what's the most important to you, thing to you in life. So for me, I know my biggest th important thing to me is my family, having flexibility and doing something that's varied, like a lot of variety in my work. So that's why, you know, I love what I do, being able to work with a huge variety of people and ever changing uh, every day at work and what I do. So understanding your core values would be the first part of it. The next part is actually understanding your natural abilities. And a lot of people get this wrong. So when I say your natural abilities, you know, a lot of people can have a natural ability of being able to do something, but they might not enjoy it. So for example, you might be really good at, you know, filing paperwork or managing paperwork, but if you're not enjoying that, then it's not something you should really focus on in your life. But, you know, if you have a high skill in, uh, you know, um, I'm trying to think what it is, um, there's a lot of, a, lot of, a lot of key areas, um, you know, where you can have a natural ability. So if you find that you've got an ability to be able to communicate and relate to people and build rapport, high-level communication skills, and you love communicating and building rapport with people, that's something that's important to you. So when you're looking at your career, I, I kind of go, it's like a, being a detective. That's the basic way how I look at it. So you're working through these clues and certain facts in your career. So by, you know, finding out these things about your core values, your natural strengths and abilities, finding about your personality style and your personality traits and, you know, finding out what you've done in the past that when I start to work with clients and they start to open up on things, you can almost connect the dots and find out a bit of a path of why they've done these previous career paths and how that's related to their personality style. And so once you start to do that, you can help people realize what their future career path is going to be. I also use an online career assessment tool called Harrison Assessments, which is probably the best thing I've ever used in my life. It, works out flips in people's behavior. So, you know, this is great for HR as well. You can find out about people's behaviors and, you know, what's going to trigger them to act a certain way. So, you know, for example, if you had a staff member working for you, Prosper, and you wanted to, or you're looking to recruit someone in uh, admin or something like that, you could find out about their personality style and go, you know, this is going to trigger them to act in this opposite direction. So, you know, if they're cool and calm and collected most of the time, something could trigger them to be completely off the rails and lose it and just completely screw up your business. So it's good to know these certain key points. And I find that by you know, coupling all these together, analyzing the clues and then narrowing them down and creating definitive components to move forward and analyzing that against these careers that Harrison assessments have and their own ideas, then you can narrow it down to a really effective career that they're going to be satisfied and fulfilled in. Understandable. Well, thank you so much. And especially with the Harrison's, uh system there is it something that people are able to get 
online or can they get it through your website? Yeah, definitely. So, um, yeah, you can, um, I, I have, I have got a link set up on my website with that, um, which is for a, a career report and also to have a chat with me on there. Um, but yeah, just cause a lot of the time, I mean, Harrison's brilliant. It actually analyzes the guy who created it was a psycho, a psychologist and a mathematician. And I've been through four different career assessments online that I've paid for. And this is the most expensive, but it's the most accurate and it goes into such, such depth and detail. Great stuff. I just wanted to make sure that whoever is watching and listening would know how to reference that. Now, you did mention family Perfect. earlier on, Paul, and I'm also a family um, guy and I really respect people that go out of their way to look after their family. You named your business Sky is the Limit. Is there any particular reason that came about? Yeah, there sure is. Like, I know we've touched about this off camera, but um, I named my business after my four-year-old daughter, Sky. And I've always loved the saying, like, I've been, I'm a massive fan of Notorious B.I.G. So, you know, to me, uh, the sky's the limit's one of his songs. And I, I've always loved the saying, the sky's the limit. Um, so it, was, it just came naturally to me calling my daughter Sky and naming my business Sky's the Limit. It's funny, people have said, oh, you know, you spelt your name wrong. And I said, no, this is the actual meaning behind it. This is what the uh, background is. Sky's the limit. You can be what you want, have what you want. Is that the song, right? <laughs> yeah, that's the one, man. <laughs> you took me back there a little bit. Okay, so oh, now yeah. you do have a massive vision that you really want to change the lives of 10,000 professionals who are probably miserable at the moment. They're unmotivated and they're depressed in their current career. Somebody might have been watching this. We do both have uh, very strong platforms and somebody is probably watching this and trying to figure out how can they also um, reach out and be assisted by your massive work there. How can people get a hold of you there, Paul? Yeah, so the best way to be getting in touch with me, there's a couple of options. So, you know, my way of reaching so many people uh, initially was to start my own podcast. So much like yourself, I love talking to people. I love finding out advice and, you know, strategies from some of the top people. So I started my own podcast called the Career Breakthrough Series. So that's one of my ways to be able to share this advice. Say for people who can't afford coaching or, you know, at a different stage in their life, to be able to give them that advice and those tips and strategies to help them progress in their career. So that's one way I suggest if you're looking to, you know, get some free advice and strategies from some of the world's best, be sure to jump onto that. Or if you want to have a chat with me, um, I'll put the, I'm sure Frost will put the link in the show notes, but um, yeah, be, be sure to jump on a chat with me, a scheduling a time through, you can book me. Um, and yeah, I'd love to have a chat and discuss what your biggest obstacles are in your career and see if we can work out a way to help you uncover a career path you desire. That has been Paul, the dream career creator. You might be going through, you know, a slump or some sort of a bump in your career and you don't quite know what it is that you want to focus on or what it is that you can do to change. Paul is going to be here to actually assist you so that you're not miserable, so you're not unmotivated and you're not depressed in your current career and you can see your way out. We're almost getting to the end of the year, so make 2018 a year for you to actually start scale and grow something that you're going to be proud of and something that's going to make you fulfilled and whole. Paul, I cannot thank you enough for um, you know, spending your time with us today, this afternoon. Thank you so much. Oh, Prosper, it's been an honor, man. And it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you and uh, yeah, been able to share this advice with your audience. I hope everyone's got something from it. Understandable. So if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to the channel where we're talking about how to actually start scale and grow a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And people like Paul are always coming in here to give us advice as to how you can actually go in motivated and, you know, make a career that is actually profitable and enjoyable for yourself. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks, guys. It's done. <laughs> awesome. Thank, thanks, Prosper. That, that was great, man. Yeah. How do you think we went? I think it was awesome. It was like, I loved it. It was short and sweet and uh, yeah, got to all the good points, which was awesome. Great stuff. Well, I, I'm not a pro like you, so I'm learning. I'm learning. <laughs> um, nah, man, you're doing awesome. All right. I'm going to 